guys, it's Scott here and welcome to today's 5 p.m. content video. Hopefully you do enjoy this one. If you do, make sure you hit the thumbs up because it's a big boy as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail. Player of the Month Messi is here. Now, he's hella expensive. So if you want to go and get yourself some coins in order to do this SBC because you're going to need them, you are definitely going to need them, uh, then IG Vault are doing a good promo right now. Uh, and if you want to go and check them out, the link will be in the description. Use my code BIRDIE at checkout to get a discount. And if you do buy coins, you're helping me potentially do this full time for even longer. So thank you for the support. Let's look at this messy. If you're looking to pick yourself up some cheap and reliable coins for Foot21, then make sure to click my link in the description, go to IG Vault, and make sure you use my code BIRDIE when you're at checkout to get yourself a discount. So, 96 rated centre forward, uh, as we knew uh, a couple of hours ago, because La Liga actually tweeted it out. Double four star, medium low, as is expected, it's not going to change on a player of the month card. 96 pace, 85 sprint speed. Shooting stats, very, very good. Passing stats, basically perfect. Dribbling stats, pretty much as perfect as you can get. Uh, 78 stamina, though. Ah, that's it. It's not ideal, to be honest. You may have to sub off this Messi. If you use him at cam, you might have to sub him off. If you, if you use him as a striker, you might just about be able to get away with 78 stamina. Finesse shot, outside the foot shot, and that is that. So, obviously his stats are fantastic, uh, because it's messy. Uh, before we get into the cost of the SBC and looking at exactly what he requires, let's quickly have a little look at how much of an upgrade it is from his normal card. So, if we go with Messi right here. Uh, whoops. Concept players. So... Uh, we're going up from the 93 to the 96, so obviously these are cards that you can get on the market. It's not as if they uh, don't exist, but uh, this is obviously one you can do if you have untradeables in your club. Uh, he's got five more pace, four more shooting, four more passing, three more dribbling, three more defending, and five more physical. It's a shame that the stamina is only going from 72 to 78, uh, because, for example, on the team of the year, 83, it's, it's more usable. When you get into, like, 85+, plus, that's what you want on a player. You ideally want 90 more, but still, it's fine. Um, but yeah, 96 Messi, player of the month. Let's have a look, then, at how outrageously expensive this is. Now, those of you that may be new to FIFA this year... You may not know that Player of the Month Messi last year was outrageously expensive. And what I mean by outrageously is not that he cost 1 mil or 2 mil. I think he peaked at 4 million coins, which at the time was more expensive than his Team of the Year. Now, I don't know how much Messi's Team of the Year costs right now. It is coming in at about... 3.8 mil, team of the year Messi, tradable, which obviously, if for some reason you don't like him, you can then go on and you can sell him. What is this SBC looking like then? Six segments. The first is an 84 with the team of the week, an 85, an 85 with the team of the week, an 86 with the team of the week, an 88 and an 89. Dear God. Okay, um, well I can tell you right now, it's hella expensive, purely based off the fact of how much like an 84 or an 85 rated squad costs. So, what's like the biggest SBC that we have? Do any other players have 89 rated teams in their SBCs that are out right now? Or anything have that? I don't know if they do. I don't know if I'm really going to be able to give you a price point for this, to be honest with you. Um, an 87 rated squad, which we don't have, is 400k on PlayStation. So, what's this going to be? 450k? Maybe 500k? Let's say 450k for this one, and then 500k for this one. Or just combine these two together, you're probably looking... A mill for these bottom two parts 
For an 86 with a team of the week, you're looking at another 300k. So that's 1.3 mil. Uh, an 85 with a team of the week is another 200k. So 1.5 mil. Another 85. That's nearly 1.7 mil. And then an 84 with a team of the week. 175. So you're depending on what happens to the price of fodder you're looking at about 2 mil for messi maybe a little bit less maybe you could get it for like 1.9 this is assuming you have nothing in your club obviously if you have untradeables you're going to bring down the price in terms of the packs that you get back prime electron players pack rare mixed players pack premium gold players pack 25k Rare Electron Players Pack is apparently better than a 25k. No. Prime Gold Players Pack, untradeable. Nice generosity, EA. And a 50k pack, untradeable. Ah, oh, you are lovely to your customers, aren't you? Your player base loves you. Wow. Insanity. Someone says 750k for an 89 rated team. Surely it can't be that much. If it is, then this SBC is going to be somewhat... Uh, to be fair, though, you might be right. With Allison and Testagen being 100k each, you're probably looking... You're, it's going to be anywhere between 2 and 2.5 mil. At the time of recording this, I don't know. But it's going to be in that price bracket. Okay? You're going to have footbin solutions start to come in so we can get a slight understanding of how much these players, uh, these squads are going to cost. Like, for example, there is a footbin team up for the 89 rated squad that is 740k. So if that is going to be the case, this team is going to cost... Uh, uh, this SBC is going to cost you upwards of 2 million coins. Now, what is the best Messi you can get on the market for that amount of coins? Obviously, we know his team of the year is higher than that. But what about his other special cards? A 95 striker Messi, which is obviously in the same position, and tradable, you're looking at what? 1.5... 1.35 mil for a Cam Messi? Well, if you want a Cam Messi, then you could go for the 94, which is... 7... 800k? So... For what is potentially going to be a third of the price... You could get a 94 Cam Messi. Th the difference between this card and the player of the month. Or let's go with this one. Because this one's coming in at let's say 1.4 mil. At the most 1.5 mil for this Messi. This new untradeable one. Which obviously you can never sell. Is going to cost you over 500,000 coins more. If you have nothing in your club. He has two more pace, one more shooting, one more passing, one more dribbling, one more defending, and two more physical. You will not be able to tell the difference between this card and his player of the month. It will not be worth the cost that that is compared to this. I don't know if EA have put out this SBC assuming that fodder price is going to come down. Now, if that is the case, this Messi is obviously out for a month. If, let's say, Testagen and Allison drop back to more realistic prices, so instead of being 90k to 100k, that I think they might be even over 100k on PlayStation, if they come back down to like 60 or 70k, the SBC will be significantly cheaper, and it may be closer to that 1.5 mil mark that you get that 95 Messi for on the market. But with current fodder prices, it's it's a rip-off of an SBC. There's no real reason to do it. And as long as the current icon upgrades are out, like that mid-icon upgrade and this one, this player pick one is the main reason why fodder price is so high. If this gets replaced with another one, fodder price ain't going anywhere. So, I don't know why anyone would do this Messi, but if you're going to do him, let me know why. <laughs> I'd love to know.